If you're looking to get your money's worth, better stay clear of these. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst video game collector's editions. Think you know video games? More specifically, terrible video games? Click below to sign in with your Google or Facebook account and take the new trivia quiz on WatchMojo.com. Follow the link in the description. For this list, we're looking at the most disappointing collector's editions video games have ever received, whether it be because of high prices or lackluster collectibles. I give you my word, but trust me, we will. Number 10, Enemy Zero 1996 Limited Edition. Enemy Zero. <laughs> Obviously not the worst on this list, but probably the creepiest. Enemy Zero is a survival horror adventure game released for the often forgotten Sega Saturn in 1996. So it's understandable if you don't remember it. Okay, let's go. What is most memorable about it, however, is its highly exclusive collector's edition. For the price of $1,700, you could get one of 20 literal crates of goodies hand delivered to you by the game's director, Kenji Ino. It came with some of the expected items like a t-shirt and an in-game weapon replica. What's landed it on this list is the incredibly gross enemy model that came with bodily fluids and the exact leather outfit worn by the game's booth girls from the Tokyo Game Show. See? Creepy. <laughs> Number 9. Call of Duty World at War Collector's Edition. Call of Duty World at War. Call of Duty has known several worthwhile collector's editions that feature exciting trinkets, but this surely isn't one of them. For this 2008 release, the collector's edition came with a logo engraved canteen. This would have been a decent collectible if it could actually be used. Sadly, it was sealed shut for whatever reason, meaning it was only good for sitting on a shelf. Not only that, but the collector's edition also came with the perk of earning double XP for the first week online and access to a high-level machine gun. You think because you say nothing. You are strong? If you paid a bit more, $70 on PC or $80 on Xbox 360, you'd get to upgrade everything quicker than others. So, it was unfair on a couple of levels. Number 8. Destiny 2's Collector's Edition. Destiny 2. Activision and Bungie were courteous enough to send GameSpot a few of the Destiny 2 Collector's Edition. Uh, we are going to be unboxing one. Bungie's sci-fi FPS franchise is no stranger to disappointing its fans. And while the second game made definite improvements on the first, it didn't bring that same insight to the Collector's Edition. Uh, very ugly, but it's a good-looking, ornate kind of fake book. While it did come packaged with some wonderful artwork, it also came with a clunky solar-powered USB charger, some stickers, and other easily losable knickknacks, and an ugly frontier bag. We'd be able to forgive this one and put it under the Not For Us category if only it didn't cost a whopping $250. It came with access to expansions as well, but those would be far cheaper down the line to those who waited. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Number 7. Fable 2's Limited Collector's Edition. Fable 2. Oh, you poor man. Sure you don't want the bottle? The case of the Limited Collector's Edition for Fable 2 is an interesting one, as it might not have appeared on this list had it included everything it promised. But alas, here we are. And that's three good coins now. Just two more and we can buy the music box. Originally, fans could pay $80 to receive DLC, a behind-the-scenes DVD, five art cards, and a small figurine of Hob. This version was cancelled last minute due to supply issues, with even the special box not making the cut. The revised version dropped $10 in price and still included the DVD and DLC codes, but the damage had been done. To make matters worse, some Xbox 360 copies shipped without the DLC codes, so Microsoft had to do damage control for already dissatisfied fans. Oh, I can almost smell the gold! Number 6. Limited Edition and Legendary Edition. Halo 3. Both collector's editions of this otherwise incredible Microsoft title had significant drawbacks upon release. The Legendary Edition's main perk was the replica of Master Chief's helmet, which many fans may have been surprised to shell out $130 for, only to find out that they couldn't even wear it. Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. While it still probably looks cool on a shelf, 
being able to put it on would have been much sweeter. More significant was the literal damage done by the limited edition. For $70, fans received the game, art, and a behind-the-scenes DVD in a steelbook case. Unfortunately, the plastic holding the discs in place was poorly designed and caused the game to come loose during shipment. And when eager players opened up the box, they came to discover that their coveted game was scratched. Were it so easy? Number 5. Batmobile Edition – Batman Arkham Knight And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Similar to that of Fable 2, the 2015 conclusion to the Arkham series was meant to feature a collectible that sounded insanely cool. Suitably called the Batmobile Edition, a fully transformable version of Batman's ride was featured in this $200 limited edition. However, due to what was described as, quote, unforeseen circumstances that greatly compromised the quality, this version was cancelled last minute. What I want, then? Alpha targets hit a drone. Fans were given full refunds and could have picked up the other collector's edition for $100, which featured a colorless statue of Batman. But as the Batmobile edition was cancelled so close to release date, there probably weren't any left of that version. This means that fans who chose to give Warner Brothers more money sadly missed out on something extra special. I trust you have not forgotten me, Batman. Number 4. Japanese Collector's Edition – Final Fantasy XIV What's worse than a canteen you can't use? A tumbler that teases you can use it, but really can't. This collector's edition exclusive to Japanese retailers came with a ton of cool smaller items. Among the typical artwork, behind-the-scenes DVD, and keychain was the bundle's signature item, a tumbler with the logo on the side. However, a closer look at the box revealed a warning against putting salt, carbonated beverages, juice, dairy beverages, or anything solid inside. This still left tea and water for 9,480 yen, around 112 US. To date, all have proven ephemeral. You had one job, you tumbler. How could you not achieve what a simple glass can accomplish? One whose tale is yet unwritten. Number 3. Power Armor Edition – Fallout 76 Ah, uh, Fallout 76. So much promise, so many problems. Putting aside how many players were disappointed with the game itself, Bethesda seriously screwed up with the massive Power Armor Edition. Coming in at $200, this version came with a map, 24 mini figurines, a helmet, and what was supposed to be a nice canvas bag. However, when it was shipped to customers, they were understandably enraged to receive a cheap nylon one instead. But the company's response made things even worse. Essentially, they knew they had to replace the bag due to supply constraints and neglected to tell anyone. The price has understandably dropped since then, but it was still an incredibly callous thing to do. Number 2. Zombie Bait Edition – Dead Island – Riptide Wait until you try what I'm making. All your hard work will be worth it. Note to game companies everywhere. If your collector's edition is clearly going to offend an entire gender, it's probably best you don't make it. Help me! Available in Europe and Australia, the Zombie Bait Edition of Dead Island Riptide came packaged with a bloody, dismembered torso of a bikini-clad woman. And the immediate intense outrage across the internet was palpable. Everyone from games journalists to casual fans called out publisher Deep Silver for featuring a collectible that was so obviously a display of sexualized violence against women. The company had to issue an apology to everyone, but that didn't stop them from selling it. Look, I understand how you feel. But we don't have much time here. Number one, game not included. Multiple titles. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Of all the awful aspects a collector's edition could bring, the most egregious act a company can commit is to exclude the actual game. We've seen this happen multiple times, such as the $270 collector's edition for Mass Effect Andromeda, which was really just an RC car. Or the $100 Panzerhund edition of Wolfenstein The New Order, which came with the in-game enemy statue and an empty steelbook case once you bought the game. These things, none of it for me. It's hard to imagine who would want a collector's edition that didn't include the game. 
And we'd like to think companies have learned, but even Red Dead Redemption 2 received a $100 collector's box of goodies, but no game. They're just an insulting way for companies to earn more money. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.